Hello there! Today we are going to use Patch Tool in Affinity Photo version 2.2 to remove unwanted objects and opposite as well. We will move the unwanted objects to a new location, alright? So here I am in Affinity Photo. This is a desktop version, but it's kind of similar on the iPad, so you should be able to do it on both devices. Let's just zoom in a bit. I like to zoom with my keyboard shortcut Command Plus or Control Plus on Windows. And on the left side in our tool panel, you must go all the way down to Healing Group. You cannot see the patch tool right now, but if you hold and press over here, Healing Brush Tool, the second one just below it, that's the patch tool we're going to use today. By default, this will work a bit like lasso tool. So if I click and draw around, you may recognize this is just a selection, right? And nothing's happening. Why? Because nothing is selected on the layer panel. So that was my little mistake here. That's something that happened quite often for new users as well. So always pay attention to your layer panel on the right side. So let's try. Try again, start over. First I click my layer, so that's selected, it's blue now. And again, the tool is already selected, so I can just draw my little selection. And as you can see, now I'm kind of moving this around because I got texture only selected, but let's go with the default setting. By default, I kind of moving this out of the selection and what is in now? the stuff that I'm pointing on with my cursor. So that's the sky. How about here? You see the top of this little rock mountain formation. So if I point out into a nice smooth backdrop and double click to confirm, I fill this area with this new texture, new color, and it's tried to blend it in a bit for us. And this way we can remove the unwanted object. Let's try again somewhere else. So I will use the same tool with the same settings, default stock settings. The good thing is we need to, we don't need to do a precise selection, right? We can just push it out. Don't forget about double click on the new backdrop. And this way we can very quickly remove unwanted object, but it's kind of useful when the object is on a nice smooth backdrop, like a sky or water or grass. It's really smooth process, but we can use this tool as the opposite to what we just saw. So if I select this area and I change here, selection is source, I turn this on and now my selection is the source of it. I'm not sourcing the sky just below my cursor, but other way around. I'm sourcing this balloon from the selection and I can stamp it over here. If I want, I still got controls and we can even use the scale here and rotation as well. Take a look. I can scale and rotate this guy. You can use the slider at the top to rotate as well. And there's a scale slider. So you can do it by hand. Be careful when you try to touch another object. He tried to blend it for us. So it, there will be this blur thing. So let, do not try to push too closely to new object. All right. And this way you will be able to use it patch tool as a kind of stamp tool. And I got two very similar balloons, exact copy of it in this picture. So keep in mind, the patch tool is just below the healing tool. By default, you can select the object and then use your mouse to point a new texture, new fill for this area. If you double click on it, you will end up with this new color, new texture, you will get rid of the object, but we can use it other way around. We can make selection and turn on selection as a source. And this way you can stamp the object around. You can even modify rotation and scale of the object. So it's different than the original one. All right. And there's also another option for us. If I use the selection here, 
in the default mode without any extra rotation and the default scale 100%. Keep in mind those sliders were modified before, so I need to move them back. And there's also another mode, texture only mode. In that case, if I pick a new object to fill this area, he will skip the color, only give me texture. So take a look, it's like this mountain thing or this another balloon texture. So we can also use the patch tool to transplant the texture from one element to another. So if something is blur, blur grass or sky cloud, you can move the texture from one object to another to make it nice and sharp. Very, very handy for those little details while removing objects or working on some uh, photo compositions, all right? So keep in mind, we can use it to stamp the object, remove the object, or stamp or remove the texture as well. Very, very handy tool, patch tool over here. If you'd like to learn more about different methods and tools that can be used to remove unwanted objects and people from your images, you can check out my new class on Skillshare. I just posted a new class last week on Skillshare. It's almost 50 minutes long, all about removing unwanted objects using multiple different tools from your images. So if you're on Skillshare, you can check this out. And if you are not, I will see you in the next tutorial here on YouTube. Bye.